Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to go through my mini lipstick collection. I personally find myself really liking, really using the mini versions of lipsticks more so than any of my full versions. This goes for bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses too. I just find they're easier to carry around. They're more practical because I'm more likely to actually use up a, full, um, a mini <laughs> liquid lipstick than I am a full-size liquid lipstick or bullet lipstick or anything. And I think that they're, they're also easier to store. I just uh, I just think when it comes to lip products, especially if you have a larger collection, I just think minis are the way to go. And I don't really hear a whole lot about mini lipsticks, except for when like the kits come out towards like the holiday season. Nobody really like does collections or talks about like mini liquid lip products or bullet products. So I'm just gonna show you my collection I have quite a few. A lot of them are Jeffree Star, but I also have some from ABH, Tom Ford, Mac. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kind of collection videos. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, hope you consider subscribing and hitting a little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. Okay, so I'm going to save all of the Jeffree Star ones for last because I do have quite a few of them. I did buy all three of the mini bundles he came out with. So let's go through the rest of my lip products and then I'll just go through the shades of the Jeffree Star ones. The first mini liquid lipstick I have is from Stila. This is the shade Carmelo. This is a super, super nude. Like I'm wearing a nude shade right now, but this one is even more nude than that one. I love wearing this if I'm gonna be wearing a gloss on top and I want that good like nude look look. And my favorite gloss to use on top of this one is actually another mini I have. This one is from Marc Jacobs. This is the lip gloss in sugar, cream and sugar. Even though I keep saying sugar sugar, that's the name of the kit in came in, but the actual gloss is called cream and sugar. I have a couple of mini YSL lip products and these I actually all got in like a five 500 point perk from Sephora. So I have two of the mini glossy stains. One is in a red shade 401 and then the other one is in more of like a berry pink shade, uh, shade 6. So those two, I haven't really tried these out as much, but I do have a couple full size lip stains that I really do enjoy. It's just that these two shades I haven't actually tried out. I also have one of their regular bullet lipsticks. This is a hot, hot pink shade that I haven't been reaching for, but I did just post a video not too long ago where I wore a pink, I think it was my last Pen That Palette update, and I just, I keep forgetting how, like, good I look in pink, and I really need to wear pink more often, so I'm probably gonna pull that one out sometime soon. And then I have, from YSL again, another matte stain. This is in shade 7, I think. It's just a bright, bright red, and it's very, very pretty. The last YSL mini I have is another bullet lipstick. This looks like to be the shade 70, and it's just a nice, like, dusty nude shade. I really enjoy this kit, and I think you got a lot for, like, a rewards perk at Sephora. I know in the 500 point boxes you don't really seem to get a lot, but if you ever see like a mini lip product or like a primer for a points reward, I think those are the best bang for your buck there. And a lot of the other like samples and stuff that you get, it's not really, you're not really getting a lot. I have one mini from Fenty. This is the Mademoiselle lipstick and I have Griselda. So it's like a really deep brown. Honestly, I have not worn this yet. Uh, I think it's definitely a fall color, but also I'm afraid of wearing like a brown that's this deep. So I will eventually get to that. Just as of right now, I've been almost a little too afraid to try it. <laughs> I have one mini lipstick from Burberry. This is Russet number 93. And it's like a deep burgundy shade. And I love just like the little details. They, even on their mini lipsticks, they have like the imprinting of the Burberry logo on here. Ugh. So I actually got this in a mini kit I bought quite a few months ago, and it came with a few other mini products from Burberry, so it wasn't a point reward. It was a mini kit. I haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of this lipstick. Again, I haven't really been reaching for bullet lipsticks, but it is a beautiful shade that I want to get more use out of come, like, the winter. I think it would look really pretty. I'll just imagine, like, a nude or, like, a neutral eye and, like, a... Oh, and a... Oh. See, I have too many ideas. <laughs> I have one mini from Tom Ford that I absolutely adore and I have to stop myself from using it because like I'm gonna finish this up. This is the lipstick in Indian Rose and this is one of my like 
perfect like just a touch of colored nudes on me i absolutely adore this it doesn't last fantastic throughout the day but not a lot of bullet lipsticks do so you definitely have to bring this with you and reapply and i just love like the size the shape the packaging and i just feel so classy when i reapply like a nice bullet lipstick especially when it's this mini i can just throw it in my purse and grab it whenever i need to and it's not a big deal if i put it back on like at my desk or something but this is a beautiful color. I've had to hold myself back from buying the full size because I told myself you need to finish this and still love it before you buy a full size because as you can see I have a lot of lip products and I really don't need any more and I really need to get more use out of what I have. I really want to do like a mini, I know LS did a series I think a few years ago, um, like a lipstick roulette kind of thing. I really want to do that with my mini lipsticks. I need to do that expect a series sometime soon i might either just like randomly draw a few lipsticks and do looks based around them or just add them more into my monthly makeup baskets because i really need to get more use out of them i have so many okay so another mini mark jacobs product that i have is just a regular bullet lipstick this is again in cream and sugar the kit that i bought is really nice because you got a lip liner you got the lipstick and then you got the lip gloss and it was about 20 dollars. i think that's pretty good for a mark jacobs lip product considering most of them do go for like 20 full size this is a perfect nude combo on me it's the perfect shade it's the perfect tone I absolutely adore it. I don't use the lip liner as much, but the lipstick and the lip gloss look beautiful together and it's just like the perfect glossy nude lip. I have three mini lipsticks from MAC, so let's go through those real quick. The first one I have is Velvet Teddy and this is the one that I've gotten the most use of out of this entire mini lipstick collection. I think I wore this like non-stop for weeks when I first got it because I thought it was just like the perfect nude on me. It is of, of matte formula which is why I stopped wearing it as much in the summer it's very matte <laughs> and it's not the most comfortable so if you're gonna wear this especially if it's dry or if it's hot you're gonna need a gloss on top but it is a beautiful beautiful shade the next shade I have is Russian red and I have worn this a little bit but it is that same matte formula so if I am going for like a statement red I've been going more for a liquid lipstick especially the Fenty liquid lipstick that is one of the best red lipsticks ever <laughs> But I haven't really been reaching for this one because I know it transfers and I know it's super matte and it's not exactly the most comfortable. But that's why you get the minis. You try them out. You're not buying like a $20 full size lipstick to realize it's too matte for you to wear. And the last shade I have is Whirl. And this is a little bit of a deeper, more brown toned nude. Honestly, haven't really worn this. I think I wore this once. And I haven't reached for it again. So again, I'm going to put that over with Griselda and remind myself, you know what? I need to start pulling those out. Or at least attempting to do stuff with them. I have four mini lipsticks from ABH. And I bought these all in a kit from Sephora for about $20. And I think it was like their nude lip kit. So these are all like neutral shades. The first one I have is soft pink. And believe it or not, it's a soft pink. I haven't worn this one because again, I haven't been reaching for pinks almost at all. I really need to reach for them more. The next shade I have is Dead Roses and this one I adore. It's very similar to Whirl from MAC but this is definitely a much more comfortable formula to wear throughout the day and it doesn't look, I think the undertones on this one are a little bit more flattering to my complexion than the other darker shades in my collection but out of the ABH ones this is the one that I've been reaching for the most. The next ABH one I have is Kiss, and this is just kind of like a nude. It's uh, like a beigey toned nude. I've not worn this one yet, because I just have other nude bullet lipsticks that I reach for, if I reach for a bullet at all. The last ABH one I have is Spice, and this one does look kind of similar to Dead Roses, but it's not as deep, so I kind of think they could have put a different nude in in this place but it's still a nice lipstick but i just haven't personally reached for it so out of that kit i'm really only using one so i need to get more use out of that kit but i really i had not tried any ab8 like lip products and i really wanted to and that's i think the highlight of a mini kit like this if it's a new brand or if it's new to you or if you want to try out a few shades that's the best way to do it moving on to my jeffree star mini liquid lip collection 
like I said before, I have bought every mini lip collection that they've come out with for Jeffree Star Cosmetics because honestly, this is the most comfortable liquid lip formula I have tried. It just is. So I do have the Pride collection, which is the really colorful rainbow collection. So I'll just run through those shades real quick. You get Diva, which is a really, really hot pink. You get Red Rum, which is a deep blue based red. You get Anna Nicole, which is a true orange. I need to, I really want to wear this for fall and just do like Halloween or fall based looks with it. But I've been almost like too afraid to wear this outside the house. I've worn it in the house, but not outside the house. You have a much brighter orange, which is flamethrower. This is like a, this is like a, a pumpkin orange. Whereas this one is more like a, um, I don't even know. It's more of a red based orange. Well, this one is like true orange. You get Queen B, which is a yellow, <laughs> a stark yellow. I've tried this on once and it looked a little strange, but I really wanted to try different colors and bright colors. So I really think the Pride collection was such a good idea for trying like minis of different vibrant shades that, cause I didn't want to spend $20 on a yellow lipstick if I didn't know if I was gonna like it. The next shade we have is Equality, which is like a blue green. <sighs> If you know me, if you've been around for a while, you know I love green, you know I love green lipstick, so that was a great one. Next you get a Tiffany Blue, which is called Breakfast at Tiffany's, and this one, I think I wore this for a video a while ago, but this is such a bright, beautiful color, and again, you can use all of these as liner too, so it's not just a liquid lipstick. Next you get Blue Velvet, which is like a purple-based dark blue. I've not tried this one on yet, just because I've been more afraid of like the purple and the blues, but I really do want to get more use out of them. And the last shade in that bundle is I'm Royalty, which is a pure purple. I've never worn a purple lipstick. I really want to, so I'm definitely going to try that on. I need to do some more makeup playtime, like when I'm home and right before bed, just so I don't feel like as self-conscious about stuff. <laughs> Okay, so the next two kits, like the nudes and the reds, I've kind of jumbled up in here and I'm not quite sure which one belongs to which kit, so we're just going to go through all of them real quick. I actually didn't realize until I was getting ready for this video that I did have a double in here, um, and that is red rum. So you get red rum in the uh, equality collection and you also get it in the reds collection. So that's the only overdraft, like overlap that I've seen, but I didn't even realize it until I was like organizing everything and I was like, oh, I have red one twice. I have the shade watermelon soda, which is like a pinky kind of, it's just like a light pink kind of shade. I haven't really worn it. It's almost like not even opened because I haven't really been reaching for a lot of these pinks recently. The shade wifey is such a beautiful, just like deep, deep, like scarlet red. It is gorgeous. It's not as like blue based as red rum is, but it's just such a beautiful shade. I love this. I just love the formula on these Jeffree Star liquid lips. They're just really comfortable. They're really pigmented and they last all day. Like I haven't found anything better. I used to be so afraid of wearing liquid lipstick outside of the house and wearing it to work because I had no idea like if I was going to look crazy by the end of the day. The next shade I have is Unicorn Blood, which is such a deep, deep, almost brown red. I haven't worn this out because I just haven't found a look that really goes with it, but it's a beautiful like red for fall. The next shade I have is Leo. This has been one of my go-to like deeper nude shades. It looks gorgeous with like a simple eye with just this. I forgot what, I'll throw the video up in the cards where I wore this. I think it was my last everyday makeup basket video, but I love this shade and I've been reaching for this one along with the one that I'm wearing today, which is mannequin, just like daily, <laughs> daily. Speaking of mannequin, I have it right here. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It is just like a really great nude color that lasts well throughout the day. And I think I'm actually running out of this because I had to like scrape the bottle to get a little bit on the, the bottom part of my lip actually on. So I might actually be running out of this one. But that is one I'd be willing to buy a full size of because it is just like one of my perfect liquid lipstick nudes. The next shade I have is Doll Parts and this is more of like a mauve dusty rose shade. It reminds me a lot of Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild but a lot more um, like pinky. I haven't been reaching for this one. I do love that Rebel Rose liquid lipstick, so if you haven't tried that one, try that out. The next shade I have is Rose Matter. Again, this is like a deep pinky shade. Honestly, I've not worn this. 
it's gotten a little lost and haven't really tried it a whole lot. The next shade I have is Celebrity Skin. This is like a nude nude. Like it's got a um, beige undertone that can really wash you out if you're not careful with like the rest of your look. But this is really pretty like topping a couple of other colors just to give it that beige undertone. Like if you're wearing a pinky one and you want to top it with this one, it's really pretty. Or if you want to use it like to create dimension on the outsides of your lips, it's really great. But just you can be careful with this one because it can wash you out like quick. The next shade I have is Skin Tight and this one's almost too light of a nude for me so whenever I do wear it I feel like it's too light and pink for my skin tone but if you are very light complected, is that a word? Complected? If you have a very light complexion this would probably be a nice a pinky beige nude for you. The next shade I have is Posh Spice and this makes me look like a zombie. <laughs> But I like it. It's like a very like beige gray lip and sometimes I just I want that gray lip and I think it looks so cute but almost everyone that sees me is like are you feeling okay? Like you don't look that great <laughs> which is A rude but B like I just like it. So I tend to wear this like when I'm gonna be by myself or when I really don't have to be around my family um, but it is a really pretty color. The next shade I have is Androgyny and it does remind me a little bit of what's that other one? It reminds me a little bit of Leo except it's more pinky than red. It's a nice shade I just don't reach for it as often because I've been going more for like the brown toned like nudes. The next shade I have is Calabasas which is a very very like rose shade. I feel like this one has, it's it's a very strong rose mauve if that makes sense to the point where like I couldn't really find a look that this looked good with because I felt like the lip was overpowering a little bit. So I'm not quite sure. I think if you have a deeper complexion this would look gorgeous on you but for me I feel like it kind of washes me out a little bit. And last but not least we have Gemini and honestly I don't think I've ever used this one. This one, again, it's like a rosy kind of deep nude shade with some like gray undertones. Eh, I, I can't speak a lot to it because I haven't used it a whole lot, but it's, it's part of the collection. <laughs> Okay, and those are all of my mini lipsticks in my mini lipstick collection. Let me know what you thought of the collection down below and whether you prefer full-size lip products or mini lip products. I would love to hear your thoughts below and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.